So many changes. And how did we create them? We blew air into a balloon, made it bigger, yeah, and then we took the air out, it became smaller. Yeah. It changed its size. Yeah, we wrote on a piece of paper, changed how it was, and then we erased it. Yeah. We rolled a ball of dough into a flat sort of a disc. Yeah, and then we rolled it back. We did something very, very physically with our hands and blowing air and all that. Can we do something very different? If you take a puppet out of its cover, it's very small, it's very flat, and it's really not tasty. And then you put it into oil, like very hot oil, or you put it on a flame, it becomes bigger right? and crisper, tastier. Now, if you ask yourself the question, what about heating it makes it become bigger? That's a lovely question. And also, if you look really close, you'll notice that small bubbles are getting formed inside that puppet. Yeah, what are they? That will also be a great question. And as usual, we will not answer all these. We'll just let you have these questions. Yeah, because they're lovely questions to have in your bag of questions. But the thing we can notice here is things mostly become bigger when you heat them. And if you know this, right, if you look at tracks of a train, then there's a small gap between two pieces of iron that make up the track. And why? In summer, when things get hotter, if the tracks become larger, yeah, then if there was no gap, then the whole thing will start bending. And to avoid that, that's pretty risky. So to avoid that, we've kept a small gap. Now, when things become larger, we call that, we give a word for it, and that is expansion. And when things get smaller, we call that contraction. Now, keep this in mind, because sometimes you'll also notice this. Let's say you keep a bottle, say a glass bottle of water in the freezer, and you forget about it. Now, the bottle was quite full, right? You know what will happen? Yeah, if you haven't done this already, because I did this when I was really young, I just kept it inside and I forgot about it. And after a while, I opened the freezer to notice that the bottle was broken. Now, what's happening over here? Yeah. So, what will happen if you take water and keep it in a freezer? The water gets colder, right? And usually things become bigger when you heat them and smaller when you make them cold, usually. But with water, yeah, as it got colder and colder and colder, there was a point where it became ice, right? It became a solid. And the funny thing about water is that when it goes from water to ice, it actually becomes bigger. In other words, ice is less dense than water, which is what we spoke about in chapter three as well, right? Ice floats on water. So ice is gonna be larger. If you take the same amount of water and make it ice, it's gonna be larger than the water itself, which means it's gonna push against the glass bottle and break it. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's, the learning app today.